Ailey and I want to say thanks so much to our patrons. We really appreciate your support in helping make Elder Dragon hijinks a thing that will continue for as long as we can play Casual Ridiculous Commander. Special shout out to our rare patrons, AJ S, Drew S, Lucas D, Mark S, Tim R, Robert T, Etria, Mike M, Francois D, Andy B, Gabriel G, Michael H, Efren A, Carl, and Dead. And a mythic thanks to our mythic patrons, Chris C, Matt O, and Imbasilicus Rex. Thanks again, patrons. The Serial Advisory Group returns once again to tell you about the goodness that is Magic Spoon Cereal. And while we can't agree on the best flavor, we can agree on one thing. Magic, Magic Spoon, Spoon is, is awesome. awesome. Magic Spoon Cereal has zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. With only 140 calories per serving, they're also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. And if you want to try out as many flavors as possible, you should build a variety box. You can try out my favorites like fruity or peanut butter or the honey nut. Or mine, which are clearly superior. Cocoa, frosted, or maple waffle. And you tell us which is best. Magic Spoon is also a great desk side snack because entire boxes disappear during Kibler's stream <laughs> and it's a way healthier alternative at breakfast time. Both of our significant others have polished off uh, several boxes without even realizing it, so yeah, I can attest to that. If you're keen to give it a go, click on the link below and you can build your own box using code alias B for $5 off. And if you're not completely satisfied, I can't imagine why you wouldn't be though, because this stuff is great. Magic Spoon will refund you in full thanks to their 100% happiness guarantee. So give it a try, you know you want to. They also make really good one on counters. Mm hmm. And if the counters go away, you can just have another snack. Or tokens, even, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, my token got sacrificed. Why? Because I crunch, ate crunch, it. Crunch, crunch. <laughs> Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to present Command Fest Orlando. Three days of non-stop commander action and exciting side events, headlined by a host of your favorite commander VIPs. Come celebrate Magic's favorite 100-card format in one of the country's premier vacation destinations on the weekend of July 22nd through 24th, 2022. Sign up today at commandfestorlando.com. Elder Dragon Hijinks is proudly sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. Check them out and use code aliasv to get 5% off your order. For our Canadian viewers, check out face-to-face -face games for your singles and sealed product and be sure to use code aliasv at checkout for 5% off. We're also sponsored by our friends at Moxfield.com, the best deck building site on the internet for your Magic the Gathering collection. The show is also made possible by EDH Rec and their sister site, Commander's Herald. EDH Rec is one of the best resources you can have as a Commander player. Commander's Herald is their article-focused site for Commander, where you can, of course, find more content, more insight, and some fun articles along the way. Another awesome sponsor is Ultra Pro. For all your accessory needs, visit ultrapro.com for your sleeves, deck boxes, play mats, binders, and more. Last but not least, thanks to our sponsor, Alter Sleeves. You can find them at altersleeves.com. Get amazing art upgrades for your cards and for your decks to personalize them as you like. Everybody, hello and welcome to another episode of Elder Dragon Hijinx. I'm Ailey. And I'm Olivia, and we are happy to have some good friends back today. We have Surge from Loading Ready Run and Amy the Amazonian joining us for a game. Can't wait to play with these two. They are two of our favorite players in all of Magic. Don't tell the other ones that. They might get a little jelly. But before <laughs> we do jump in and meet the players and check out the decks, we got to do our usual spiel because we've got some pretty cool sponsors. We really do. And we need to make sure that you know how cool they are so you can support them and make sure that the show keeps happening. You know, the usual stuff. Mutually beneficial, I tell you. So go check out Ultra Pro, go check out Face to Face, go check out Knoxfield, go check out Ultra Sleeves, and go check out Cool Stuff Inc. On that note, friends, let's go and meet our awesome players. Hello, everybody. I'm Amy the Amazonian. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Amazonian, where I play a lot of card games. And today I am playing Zombies with Wilhelt, the Rot Cleaver. This is actually a pre-constructed deck made by Wizards of the Coast, which a bunch of my friends bought and keep asking me, 
Amy, what should I put in this deck? How do I play it? And I can't give a recommendation without playing it myself. So what Will Help does is Will Help really benefits zombie decks. Whenever a zombie I control dies, if it doesn't have decay, I get a beautiful decaying zombie. And at the beginning of my end step, I could just sacrifice a zombie to draw a card like Sweet, that's value right there. Hello, my name is Serge Jaeger of Loading Ready Run, but you can also find me at twitch.tv slash Serge Jaeger. Today, I am piloting angels. I am piloting Lisa or Liesa, depending on your particular flavor of angel, the Forgotten Archangel. I'm playing an angel tribal deck, you know, make angels fly, give them lifelink. I also have a very cheeky little reanimation package. And my dream is I have the weird meld package and I got some tutors to try and fetch for it, but you know, if it doesn't come together, I will still dominate the skies. Today I am playing Faldhorn, Dreadwolf Herald. It is casting stuff out of exile and making our woos, which is fun. I am playing this completely straight out of the box, don't know what I'm doing, and it'll be fun, I think, because it's a pre-con, so we'll see what happens. I'm excited to check it out. I too am playing a precon straight out of the box. It is Captain Nagathrod. I probably butchered that, but you know what? He's probably butchered many things too, being a pirate and all, going for the loot and the bounty, etc., etc. It kind of just lets me role play a pirate for a game, and that's totally fine by me. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to let this dum dum do his thing, where he gives all of his horrors menace. So, yeah, he's gonna try Milia, he's gonna steal your stuff, as all good pirates do. And um, if I can't win with this deck, I'll win with someone else's. I'm playing unsleeved like a monster. Uh, we both are. It's beautiful. Yeah. You are going to tilt so many people. I'm about you it. say we have an accessory sponsor, huh? Look at these unsleeved oh my God, that's fiends. So funny. Oh, you, know what, you know what I should do? I should actually sleeve the deck as we play. <laughs> oh, yes. I will go grab sleeves to do the same thing. Their sleeves both from our sponsor and have a ruse on them. Nice. Ruse? A ruse. Thank you. Ultrapro.com. <laughs> All right, turn one. Let's start this game with a choked estuary. It enters the battlefield, and I'm going to reveal a swamp so Whoa. it comes in untapped. It taps for blue and black mana. Writes down swamp. <laughs> Draw a card. I'm going to forest ring. Oh, snatch. Obby signet. This is a precon, everybody. <laughs> We what? found the arch enemy. <laughs> Olivia. Oh, that was fast. Hicks. We need to have yes. words. How have you done this again? You can untap last week it was you. Mana. It was me last week, but that's okay. Cool. Precon power. Go. <laughs> uh, I will draw as per the rules. I don't have a cool turn one play, and that makes me very sad. But instead, I will play this creeping carpet. Uh, creeping carpet. It enters tapped, and it makes me land. <laughs> that's my turn. <laughs> Draw. I'm going to play uh, Verdant Catacombs, and it's going to go on a little journey here, going down to 39, and I'm going to find a Rav Duel and put it into play tapped, and this is when I suddenly realized that I should be playing the Kaldheim Frozen ETB lands, you know? Oh, they're the snow very duels. nice. They're very fetchable. Uh, anyways, I'm just going to finish fetching and then pass, so you can go ahead and start whenever. Yeah, God Excellent! Shine. I shall draw a card, and it will come into play! Because it's a swamp! I got another one. I'm swimming in swamps over here, but that's all I've got for my turn. So I'm going to pass it over to Olivia. I wouldn't recommend swimming in swamps uh, on a regular basis, though. You know, my boyfriend this... saw a TikTok of somebody falling into a peat bog, and he said, I want this no, to happen thank you. to me. And I told him, I can make your dreams come true, because I know where all the peat bogs in Massachusetts you are. Make dreams come true. <laughs> ooh, 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 do, do, do. <laughs> what I want. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to make you guys just wild. I'm going to play Command Tower. <laughs> Oh, look at you and your I'm, fancy commander cards. I'm the worst. We're going to tap and leave one soul ring mana floating to play revisit. I'll go find a forest, put it on the back. <laughs> oh, the ramp is strong with this one. Oh, God. The three visits is just like a forest. It doesn't matter what kind. Yeah, just, you know, frast. Um, since this deck is shuffled now, I can sleeve it. 
Sleeve as you draw. <laughs> yes. Keep the that oils is, off, you know. Okay. Three visits is in the yard. Then I have one, two, three, four. Olivia has more permanence than all of us combined. Yeah. Hey, my two lands take offense to that. <laughs> There's green in the command zone. I don't know what you want from me. One, two, explore. Uh -oh, ramp is happening. Oh my god. Oh, okay. No ramp is happening. All right. So now that you've built your ramp up like super tall, are you gonna do like a flip on it or? Um, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm gonna pay three to cultivate. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. Wait, at what point do we start questioning if this hand was... Uh... Oh, wait, no, I need it. <laughs> this is actually really cool, though. Like, Cultivate and Explore does synergize quite well together. It's very nice, yes. Put so, uh, hand in your hand, get to play a land. This one is going to be put onto the battlefield tapped. I, the other one's in my hand. I will play a second land for a turn. I am Jeez. done. You sure? You sure? Like... Positive. <laughs> sure. I mean, what else can you do? What's another... Uh, you got any... Um... Mana crypts in there? I don't, I don't mm. know. It's a pre-con. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, don't be ridiculous, Ailey. <laughs> me and my uh, paltry creeping tarpet are just gonna hang out here. It's totally fine. Uh, I will put a swamp down. Don't judge me, but it's just it's just an arcane signet. That's all I got. I, got, I haven't got anything else. What? So. How can you think that? Oh my god, that's too powerful. This is not that. You can't play that at this table. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll see myself out. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play a planes, and then I'm going to cast the first creature of the game, yeah. uh, Bishop of Wings. Ooh. This is a two mana one for human cleric. Whenever an angel enters the battlefield under my control, I gain four life. Oh. And when an, whenever an angel I control dies, I get to create a one one spirit creature token with flying. This is, I think, one of the only non-angels in the deck, but it says nice. the word angel on it twice, so it totally counts. And, yeah. and it synergizes Art. with angels. Pass. You get it. All right, let's get another card in hand. And oh, I do like that one. I'm gonna go ahead and play a swamp as my land per turn. And I'm gonna tap for one Z, two Z, three mana right here for the Diagraph Captain. The oh, Diagraph yeah. Captain ooh. says, ooh, other zombie creatures I control get plus one, plus one. And whenever another zombie you control dies, target opponent loses one life. Gosh, I really wish that said each opponent. Also, it has death touch. So it is a two, two with death touch. It's going to buff my other zombies once other zombies are on the field. But that's not right now. That's the future. Hopefully we have an <laughs> army. Keep vamping. I'm almost done with sleeving my deck. While Olivia is sleeving... You know, you could win your own super cool sleeves in this lovely yellow color. So let's find out about our giveaway for the month. Thanks, me. Yes, it is a new month and it is indeed time for another giveaway. Enter for some lemony yellow goodness this time around, clicking that link in the description for two sets of sleeves, a deck box, really cool yellow dice set, and the very chibi Johnny playmat. I love those chibi playmats. They are the bestest. Last month we They're gave away- They're cute. So cute. We gave away the little Tamiyo. So if you guys yeah. like happy and adorable planeswalkers, be sure to go click the link, do the things, and uh, who knows? You could be the proud new owner of adorable things. Back to the game. Let's resume. I, I am playing a mountain for turn. I mm. just one. Just one. <laughs> for now. Do, do you have I, nine I have... mana on turn three? Well, I mean. Yes. Have you ever played green before? It's awesome. Uh, yeah, there's that too. Okay, so I'm going to pay three for Fertile Footsteps and go find a forest, <laughs> a basic land, put it on the battle. Oh my god! Shuffle. That's going to come fine. down as Everything's a 2020, fine. isn't it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> ho, it's on ho, an adventure. Ho. Green giant. I do like that adventure stuff came back. It's Ooh. not stompy. <laughs> what was that? A perfectly ordinary human noise that my body makes. Why? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> was that a sneeze? Yes. A <laughs> uh, hiccup, <laughs> technically. Sneeze. Okay. I'm then going to tap three and welcome my commander to the fray. Baldorn, Dread Wolf Herald, which sounds like a pretty sweet job, if I'm honest. Whenever I cast a spell from exile or a land ETBs under my control from exile, I get an Aru token, a 2-2 green wolf. I can pay one tap or discard and exile the top card of my library and play it this turn. That's a cool card. Oh, this is the precon with Jessica's will in it as well, huh? Yes. I will 
Tap one and play um, Heart's Desire and make a 1-1 one, one human token. It's just a little guy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, the little mm-hmm. friend. I wonder if it's got the Rachel token. I love Rachel. <laughs> yes, Rachel and her chicken. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah! I will also welcome my uh, background enchantment to the fray. Before you eagle-eyed sleuths call us out on this, yes, we made an oopsie. We played Feldorn as if she had to choose a background. Realizing only after the game had ended that she, in fact, does not. Uh, <laughs> what? Did, did you have that background in your deck or in the command zone? Oh, it doesn't have choose a background, though. <gasps> it was at this moment that we knew we messed up. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't twig until now. I'm like, wait a I minute. I didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Literally none of us even noticed. Oh my god. Oh well. Apologies for that. These were brand new decks at the time that we played them, so a little bit of leeway would be appreciated. Passionate archaeologist. Commander creatures you own have whenever you cast a spell from exile, this creature deals damage equal to that spell's mana value to target opponent. What? I'll pass. Friends, I think we have a problem. Equal it's an to Olivia the mana value. Size problem. Yes. An Olivia-sized problem. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's only 5'3". It's not going to be a lot to deal with. (laughs) Just get someone with long arms and they can hold their hand out on my forehead and I can't swing at them. (laughs) It's like the cartoon. I have to get Adam. He's the he's the he's the longest person I know. He's like one of the tallest. <laughs> if if Adam tried to do that, like hold me at arm's length, I'd be like an ocean away. <laughs> I'm tiny. <laughs> I can't cross that gap. Uh, I'm playing a strange land. This is weird wording. I've never heard this before. Uh, add blue. If you play the land this turn, add black instead. River of Tears. Oh, River sweet, Tears. good. Uh, yes. That's from the old school time spiral time shifted block. And I don't think yeah. they ever made more of this particular land. It's so mm-hmm. weird. It's weird. That's very nice funky. if they did. Olivia, how big is your commander? She's 3-3. Three, 3-3? Three. Three, three? She's just a yeah. little guy. Amy, how big is yours? She's a lady. Mine is not in play, but the thing I have out is a 2-2. Two, two. My commander is a 3-3. Three, three. I have a 1-4. I would appreciate it if you only did three damage to everything. I'm scared of Olivia's stuff, and I think that's fair to say. So I'm going to Crippling Fear, and I will choose... What's creature types? Not on the battlefield. P- unicorn. Uh, and I would like to kill everything oh, that's Zyra three. Oh, Captain is deadly afraid of unicorns! So, so, hold on. What does your card do? Uh, it's Crippling Fear, so choose a creature type. Creatures that aren't of the chosen type get minus three, minus three until end of turn. Yes! The bishop survives! You're fine, Serge. Um, I would like to make it clear that you have slaughtered innocent chickens and a woman. <laughs> it it eh, says Rachel's human on there. So it doesn't say foul, okay, so fair, it's fine. Okay, fair, but the chickens. <laughs> Think of the chickens. <laughs> Think of I, the, I believe I actually heard Ailey named... They're just trying to thrive. Na- Ailey named chicken. Chickens were spared, actually. It was just the human. <laughs> okay, all right. Fair enough. <laughs> That's my turn, Serge Gifford. All right, untap, draw for the turn. Can't believe I still haven't drawn a Sol Ring. What is, what is wrong with my deck here? All right, Oh my planes. God, it's not a precon. That's what's wrong with it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast Herald's Horn. Uh, old Harry over here is a three mana artifact. Oh. It's going to name Angel. Angels will cost what? one last generic to cast. And at the beginning of my upkeep, I may look at the top card of my library. If it's a Angel, I may reveal it and put it into my hand. Serge, hear me out. What about naming druids? It's not symmetrical. It's only the ones that I cast. Okay, so hear me out. What about naming druids? What about Olivia Take One? Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Heard. (laughs) Pass. Boy, time to get more zombies out on the battlefield. Sorry, I killed your zombie. It was just um, collateral damage. Can I show y'all a cat? You could have named a zombie, but you didn't. Oh. That is a cat in a box. Wow. Whose kitty is that? Is an island. Uh, Vanessa uh, Lee Koss on Twitter. Look, of cats. look at that face. I saw a baby. All right, I'm going to tap for four here to play Pisa and Droll. Oh, yeah. So the, uh, the siblings who really don't love each other, or maybe they do love each other, it's just in a very sibling-like way. This is mm. a 4-4 human wizard. Well, human wizards. Uh, and when it enters the battlefield, I mill four cards. I've milled a Gravespawn Sovereign, a Charcoal Diamond, a Dark Salvation, 
Oh. And a horde wing scab. And during each of my turns, I may cast a zombie creature spell from my graveyard. So now I have a couple zombies in my graveyard. Oh. And when I have a little bit of mana next turn, uh, we can start bringing those back out. Did, and that's going to be the end of my turn. Did you need some mana? I I don't think you're able to give it to me. Doing handouts? As okay. much as I would like it. Old uh, 1% Olivia over there is monopolizing all wow. the property. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Dang, Surge, that's... <laughs> You cut me deep, friend, until the end of my next turn. <laughs> That's a face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. Well, wait, now if I do this, hold on. One, two, three. I'm the worst. Okay, I'm going to bring out my commander. <laughs> oh, no, we're about to take a million damage, aren't we? Oh, yeah. All right. um, okay. I am then going to tap another five. Or escape to the wilds. I'm going to exile the top five cards of my library. I can play them until the end of my next turn. No, 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 no. With all the adventures, this is feeling a lot like Eldraine Standard, and I'm getting a little <laughs> freaked out. Okay. Was Eldraine Standard bad? Yes. Okay. It, I, remember, I don't play Standard. I'm, I'm asking this out of, like, genuine curiosity. Well, I this, don't the know. The card you just played did get banned. Yeah, it would do it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Along with what? Veil of Summer, Oko. Who else got banned from that set? There was a lot. Um, yeah. Once Upon a Time. Yes. Oh once upon okay. Time. So if they're in exile, y'all get to see them, yeah? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. These are exiled face up. Okay. So it's Journey to the Lost City Enchantment. It is that guy. I'm not going to try. Nulfeshni. Uh, Azuri's Predation, which BT dubs I can cast. Uh, uh, <laughs> Mountain. And a beast within. <laughs> oh, beast within. Can I play the land for exile? Yes. If you haven't played a land for the turn, then yes, you can. Okay. But delightful. you can play an extra will... land with Escape the Wilds, can't you? Uh, yes, I can, but I do oh. not have an extra land. So So you've played a land the from value. exile. What does your commander do? Uh, I can. Oh, I get a wolf. Oh, no, it begins. I get an Aru. 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 Well, that makes our bleep Aru. sound easy for this week. It's a woo. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. I think I've done enough. I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> What's the thing? You're thriving. Yeah, I am thriving. My skin is moisturized. My crops are watered. <laughs> I'm in my lane. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. I will play this lonely swamp. To everybody that came up to me at Richmond and said you love the show, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is all my fault. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I've ruined everything. Ooh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five on the board. Stuff and things. That. <laughs> well, people get mad at me for targeting you sometimes, but I think it's... It's totally justified. It's totally and I'm justified. not just saying that because I don't want to be yeah. targeted, but... <laughs> I, I, I'd really like to play your commander, Olivia. I'm going to mind flare it. When this enters oh. the battlefield, gain control of target creature for as long as you control mind flare. Okay. Hang out with me for a bit. Mind flayers out here making friends. Yeah. yeah and minds. No, mind flayers just having a sleepover. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Like yeah, where you just hang out and play video games and eat yeah. ice cream and then crash on your living room floor like it was a camping trip. I bought Doritos <laughs> and a flat of soda, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's, that sounds like a good time. Yeah. Ooh, we're going to play so much Mario Kart tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's my turn. Go for it, Serge. All right. Untap, untap, upkeep, which happens before the draw step, Harold's Horn. I get to look at the top card. It's not an angel, so I'll just draw ADH. it for the turn. Still not a Sol Ring either. I'll play another Plains. So, it'd be really cool if I could double angel this turn, but I can't. Oh, with that attitude. Uh, uh, well, I can't <laughs> cheat either. <laughs> <laughs> All I mean, right. You know, Serge, if you're having a bad day and you really need to, like, we get it. So, if someone has to cheat to win in Commander, like, just take the W. You're, you've got <laughs> yeah. some stuff going on, you know? You deserve it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, as an aside, when I was building this deck, I, Black White Angels, I discovered there's a lot of angels in Magic that are profoundly unfun. There's a lot of angels say just that. say... They, they Right? For such a, like, a holy tribe and a holier-than-thou tribe, they kind of suck. Is. And I tried to play as few of the sucky angels as possible, and I realized <laughs> that I didn't have enough of a density of creatures, so I played some of the sucky angels, and I apologize. Here comes a sucky angel. Okay. So, three mana, Shasta one... Serge, I want... I Lindvala. That was the sentence. Here's okay. Linvala. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> Genius! <laughs> Uh, so when an angel comes into play, I gain four life. Mm -hmm. So I go up to 43. Uh, Linvala is here. Linvala is a four mana three, four that says activated abilities of creatures your opponent's control cannot be activated. So it only hoses Olivia's commander who's now at a sleepover at Ailey's. <laughs> right. I don't have activated abilities. I'm feeling good because they're all triggered abilities. Yeah. Triggered for the yeah. win. you. And uh, I can't really attack with a 1-4, so I'm just going to say go. I've never seen somebody cheer for Linvala before. <laughs> <laughs> I run Black White Angels too, same commander, and I feel great when I get a Linvala out. I'm All like right, the most okay, I feel bad. I feel guilty. Power. I'm like, I'm sorry, bear with like, me. Like, that's the thing, like, just don't. All it's right. fine. Don't feel bad. It's no big deal. It's not like you're playing all salty or like super oppressive. Yeah, it's there's fine. so many you're angels that are just like, deck. you yeah. don't get to play and you don't get to play. Nobody's playing magic. You're like, wow, The only thing that's I so don't hurtful. like are cards that say you don't untap or you don't get a draw step. You know, things that like ruin the fundamentals of playing the game. That's there's the only an thing that's like. that's me. like, if they attack, they can't cast spells. If they cast, if they cast spells, they can't attack. And I'm like, mm -hmm. why would I play that? Oh, like <laughs> He's like, I love it. Action from every type of a card, like white. Yeah. Ha oh, an angel, oh. a dire. I was like, I'm just settled a wreckage, but more you don't get land. So anyway, three <laughs> mana. I'm bringing back my dire graph oh. captain. From the oh, dire graph. That's the Guess two two with back. death touch buffs other zombies. Not that I have other Any zombies. Other zombies. Yet, yet. And I'm also gonna play Temple of Deceit. It taps for blue or black, but it comes in tapped and I'm going to scry one. Oh, it's just, it's your temple of scrying. Huh. That does have a lot of text on it. <laughs> <laughs> I know what this card is, definitely. I've seen it before. <laughs> this isn't the first time I've seen this deck or anything. <clears throat> That'd be strange. Anyway, so I've got like a 4-4 four -four here. I feel like a 2-2 two -two wolf is not as big as a 4-4 four -four siblings. So I'm going to swing with my 4-4 four -four at Olivia. <laughs> I feel like I deserve it. Yeah, okay. Engines, a ramp! That's my turn. We press on. <laughs> Let's have some fun. Hey, I babe. love fun. I also love fun. I had fun once. Are you guys even remotely ready for this fun? No. Okay. I don't think you are. I like that Olivia could take a turn off and not be the arch enemy, but she's like, nah, I got this. Let's go. It's no big deal. <laughs> hey, uh, Ailey, my friend. Yes, my dear. I'm going to Beast Within the Mind Flayer. I figured you might. I can't mm. even discard card. No. Okay, you get your thing back. Yay. Guess who's hey, back At least back I again. slowed you down for a little bit. I'm doing my best. You, you did. <laughs> I have eight, and I have three that tap for green. I could Azuri's prediction. <laughs> do it. You do get a three-three though, Ailey. I do. Oh yeah, you yeah, do. From the yeah. the beast Beasties. within the mind the flare. Beast. Yeah. What would I want to do? Eight damage. Make a cute beastie. Linvala. That looks like a giraffe. Each creature my opponent's control. How? Uh, Linvala's a three-four, yeah. Yes. Hmm. Just a harmless little three four over here, minding ah. her own business, just floating well, in the sky with I her. I mean, I've got to play some of this stuff because it goes away after this. It's exiled forever. Good point. I may pass on the predation and try to get these friends out. I think Isuri's predation might go away forever here. So I will uh, journey to the lost city here, which is four. Sounds like a Disney what movie. What does that journey do? Journey is an enchantment. At the oh, beginning of my test. upkeep, I roll dice. Um, if I roll a one through a nine, I get a land. Oh, oh! I exile the top four cards. If I yeah. roll one through nine, I can put a land onto the battlefield. If I roll 10 through 19, I get an Aru with, let's see, a 1-1 one, one counter for each creature card among those cards. <laughs> I'm not the, sure, uh, that makes sense. And if I nat I think 20, I get... The, yeah, amongst the exiled cards. Yeah, and if I nat 20, I get um, all the permanents. Nice. Oh, but That's then you have gross. to sack it, too. That's important. It goes yeah. away. Yeah. It, oh, God, could you imagine if you got to do that repeatedly? Oof. I have journeyed to the Lost City from exile whenever I cast the spell. Oh, it's triggered. Whenever I cast the spell from exile or a land ETBs, I get an Aru. This is going to let me honk somebody for four. Amy, you're, I'm gonna honk you to 39. Is it four damage or one damage? It feels says, damage equal to equal the spell's, to the spell's mana, value. mana value. So take four. One, four. two, three, four. Yeah, I'm going down to 36. 
I am going to once again cause problems in Kadama's reach. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Wait, you cultivated and Kadama's reached? Wow. I have a, there's a Steve in here apparently too. I saw it earlier. Cool. Oh man, that new art is really cool. The new Kadama's art? Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's me. Good job. Oh, that's why I like it. It's Sam Burley. He's one of my favorites. Yes. Sam's great. All right. So the mountain will eat to be tapped. Rats will go to my land. Go to my land. Go to my hand. <laughs> I will shuffle. I am done causing chaos for the time being. I will pass and Azuri's predation and Nalfeshni will remain in exile. Five ever. Bye bye. I feel like for the time being, it's going to be a very short period of time. In all fairness, this is my hand. Okay. Ooh. She's out of gas. So you're saying uh, there's a chance. Wait, she's gonna she's gonna like rip a in Garrick's weight. No, what's it? Return of the wild speaker or something off the top. Is that in here? <laughs> I have no idea. But there's big green draw spells, I'm sure. Oh look at Sakura Tribe Elder. Let's go ramp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna draw. I don't know what's in this deck. I'm gonna give it a look while I'm technically shuffling it. Right, so I'm technically beastie. shuffling is my favorite kind of shuffling. This is this is tactical and technically. I need mm. to know what's actually in my deck. It's really helpful. <laughs> Ooh, I can find and there's a nature's lore. Nice. That's a good card. The primeval bounty. Play Temple stretching. of the False Squad. I add to Mana if I have five lands, which I do. I can see how this would be a fun Oh, there is a Return of the Wild Speaker. This would be fun hey. to upgrade, actually. I'm gonna keep being a problem for Olivia. <laughs> uh, in in fairness, I am a problem. Oh, there's I'm gonna play a Dark Hatchling. This has flying, it's a 3-3, three, three, and it says, when this enters the battlefield, destroy target non-black creature. It can't be regenerated. I'm gonna kill your commander for the third time. <laughs> In response. <laughs> oh no. Nothing, your insolence is no oh. <laughs> Hey, I'm just playing catch up. Once I've caught up, I'll leave she her alone. She did. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Amy, you just have a 2-2 two, two up? I have a 2-2 two, two and a 4-4 four, four that's tapped. But it does have death touch. What happens when stuff dies again? Nothing? It just oh, if another zombie dies, oh, then okay. the target opponent loses one life. But if this guy dies, he's just kind of okay. I don't know. He sounds important, so I'm he gonna swing crumbles. at you and be like, "Fine with a trade if you want to totally block it with a two-two death touch." Him, mm -hmm. it's a three-three. Three-three. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. I'm gonna take it. They kiss. Okay. Mm. It's beautiful. <laughs> Diagraph captain goes to the graveyard. Like I can't replay it. Nah, I can't kill your <laughs> yes, stuff though because it's black. But anyway, this dies. I like your style, Amy. Oh, That's my turn. My creatures are very sacrificial. <laughs> Wait, so if you can't kill things that are black, does that mean that all of us for having our sweet black shirts are unkillable? Oh, oh the game's yeah. never gonna end. It's never gonna end. All right. <laughs> so uh, much keep. powerful black mana. <laughs> Harold's horn. Oh. It's not an angel, but it has the word angel on it. Does that count? It does not. Uh, no. it. <laughs> nice Shoot. Sorry, All right. I'm sorry, well, I'll draw it instead. I'm 0 for 2 on uh, Harold's Horn here. Cards you can obviously always, terrible. like, Calvin Ball a game one of these days where we decide that some rules don't apply just, like, as we go. <laughs> yeah, oh. sure. Play your angel tribal. As long as there's an angel present in word or image, <laughs> it counts. That could get out of hand. like it. Okay, April next year, we Calvin Ball. We have an April Fool's game. Do it. Oh, do we just play like first season Yu-Gi-Oh or do we just make up what the cards do based on our feelings? Yes. Oh, I like it. I like or it. Or we can, or you know what would be really fun is to have like a series of rules and then everybody gets to roll a d20 on their turn and they can either make, and they just get to make that rule not apply. That's cool. Oh no, hey, I have Ailey. bad ideas. Yes, sir. I attack you with a three, four and a one, four. I mean, I guess so. The, the bishop is just a one four, it's got no, no other weirdness, yeah? Yeah, I have no no keywords here other than three okay. four with flying and a one four on the ground. It'll block your one four and take three. All right, take three. Second main. Whoa. Q. Q, 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 one discount. I'm bringing out my commander. Lisa, AKA Liesa, is here to party. <laughs> Five mana, four, five, flying, lifelink, and a whole bunch of other words that say, whenever another non-token creature you control dies, return that card to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. And if a creature an opponent controls would die, exile it instead. That makes me happy. It kind of hoses Amy's Amy a little. Yeah. It hurts and, me emotionally, yes. Yeah. And an angel came into play, so I gained four life. Just ignore my life total, please. It has nothing to do with the game state. And I am going to pass. I have to be a little more cautious about who's going to the garbage now. Let's just die though, Mill is fine. 
I'm gonna go ahead and play that swamp from 10,000 years ago. A beautiful six mana. I think I should take advantage of that beautiful ability I still have with uh, he's in Grolf. And I'm gonna bring back Diagraph Captain again. <laughs> the same Diagraph Captain? Yeah, he's he didn't captain. at all. But I wonder if that Diagraph Captain has Captain Whiplash of Amy's now. heart. I do like him. And I'm gonna pay another one, two, three for Spark Reaper. <laughs> this is a two, three zombie that I can pay three mana if um, I could activate abilities, but I can't. Then sacrifice oh, creature Planeswalker to gain a life and draw a card, but I can't. You know, imagine if I could. <laughs> <laughs> Ailey, uh, yes. I'm seeing you over there with the highest life total among people I can attack without my creature dying. And I'm going to attack you for four with the six. This is fair. With I take four. And I pass my turn. I will untap this pile of things that make mana. Upkeep. I will exile the top four cards in my library and then roll a d20. It is Sweet Gum Recluse, Grum Gully the Generous, Warstorm Surge, and Kessig Wolf Run. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 20 would be pretty good here. I got a nine. I can put a land from among them onto the battlefield. I will do just that. It's a pretty Thank good land. Kessig Wolf, Kessig Wolf run. <laughs> now, notably, that's not play a land. So you still have your land drop for the turn. Is that correct? Correct. Cool. Is this all cards exiled all the time or just with this per turn? I believe it'd just be of that turn. Yeah. But I mean, it says exiled with for the fourth one. So I it's think called that Journey they... to the Lost City. One sec. Yes. Yeah, I think I think it is cumulative, based on like the way the the fourth one's written. I think I need a separate exile pile then. Yeah, I just, just put, put it underneath under like an O ring. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Because I have these ones that I can't mess with. I'm struggling with the rulings, but I'm finding yeah. hilarious Reddit threads of people calling this card bad, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds right. <laughs> oh, scans. I mean, just because this says all cards and it doesn't say, like, I mean, obviously it's paying attention to cards that it exiles. We can play it like that, and if we're wrong, then it will. I think it's more fun to play it that way. And here's um, the thing. we Being wrong is fine, because being wrong means you have an opportunity to learn and grow. So we'll mm -hmm. do it incorrectly if that's the case, and if we're correct, then good job us. We've correctly but assessed it, the card. I kind of agree it should say that, you know, at the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top four cards with journey or something that references yeah, it exiling it in the beginning right yeah did i draw for turn no because i just did my upkeep trigger which was exiling yeah. this and getting a land oh yeah huh i get to i got a land and then i get to play a land this forest gonna play faldorn for seven i won't kill her again i promise don't fib <laughs> and then i will tap seven and play Beanstalk Giant from Exile. So how big is he? Number of lands I control. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's an eleven eleven, and also you deal seven damage to, to an opponent. <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. Might I suggest the life gain? Maybe the my... one who's gained life. There, and is I, gain uh, who? I, life. I don't see anybody. There's only three people in the camera shot right now. Amy, point up. Oh, it's so point strange. <laughs> Can't believe Ailey kept, kept bullying you there, uh, Olivia. I know, right? <laughs> she kept she kept taking my commander. And it's a dang shame. It's scary. This is the reason why, but I might need it to kill search. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Serge. Mm -hmm. I, I think you should take seven. That's fair. I go down. Oh, I can't believe this. I, You'll be back oh, the mighty have fallen. I'm total. back to 40. Oh. <laughs> She's just the worst. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, Serge and also this. you get another dog. Oh, and I get an Aru. Aru. The wolf army groweth. Yeah. Oh, look at this sweet being tapped out. Ooh, yes. So I have someone Lorgen and George. I have two wolves that can attack. I would like them to remain around as blockers in case things get wild. I'll pass. Hey, Olivia, can I you know. kill her commander for the fourth turn in a row? Um, <laughs> I don't know. It depends what I draw here. <laughs> we'll try. I have three more commander deaths before I can't cast her. <laughs> so when she's at 13, I can't cast her. Oh, you'll get to 13 easy piece. I'll play an Island. I don't know that I like that. I don't want, I'm not racing to the top. We're just trying to drag you down to the bottom. I, I understand. 
let's get Captain Gathrod out. Um, Yarr, mm. mateys. Gotta go full pirate here. So, horrors you control have Minache. Uh, whenever a horror you control deals combat damage to a player, that player mills that many cards. Hey, Amy, you want some cards? Oh, please do. <laughs> At the beginning of your end step, choose target artifact or creature card in an opponent's graveyard that was put there from their library this turn. Put it onto the battlefield under your control. Mm. Oh, yeah. yet yeah, no, we're good. Amy's just fine. I mean, sharing well, no, is I... caring, right? I want those. No, they're my zombies. They go in my graveyard for me. If I bop Olivia, though, she's going to send an 11 11 to me. Yeah, and I bet we're that not there's wrong. really cool, big, chunky creatures in that graveyard. I'm I just mean, saying. Like, the, I need to get them in there with this mill, though. I mean, I might need that to help me live against the chunk. Okay. All right. I am chungusless. Uh, there might be one in there once I hit you. Olivia, I'm swinging at you with a dark hatchling. It's flying and it has menace. Dunk. It'll bop you for three. Please the don't hate me. The problem. I do, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you must now mill three cards, please. Because I bopped you for three. And Let's what'll they be? Creature or an artifact. I can steal it. Is that all land? Land, land, Boom. land? Three lands. Should have hit me. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> Crap. Not Come for it. the queen. You best not miss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I should also pay for my commander. <laughs> that, that honks. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sometimes this is my punishment for bullying you. Bullying your commander. You did get Olivia down to 32. That's not. Oh, nothing. yeah, that's right. That's, yeah, <laughs> Thank there's still damage that nothing. happens. No, no, it doesn't matter. Uh, two swamps. I'm going to play a very large creature called Hunted Horror. It has trample. It's a 7 7. Oh, I love when this card. When this enters the battlefield, target. Opponent creates two three three green centaur creature tokens with protection from black. This card's <laughs> original like... Ravnica staple. I loved this, like early stifle knot sort of decks. Yeah. But it changes the dynamic significantly in a horrors matter deck and in commander where you can sort of elevate the, the weakest player. Yeah. Which is clearly me. Which is clearly Surge. Okay. Amy, I'm 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 gonna give you two green centaur bros with protection from black, because next turn I wanna hit you and get something useful, please. Yes, absolutely. I love my new best friends. They're half horse. And um I'm gonna ride them around in the woods and we're gonna be best friends. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget to name them. Uh yeah, that's my turn. I sit here terrified. Go for it, sir. Incredible. <laughs> All right. Somewhere. Untap, untap, untap. Upkeep. Harold's Horn, currently zero for two. Uh, currently zero for three. I'll go ahead and draw this. <laughs> Aces. This is a great angels deck search. I have two angels in play. Okay. I just haven't, you know, hit random angels off the top. <laughs> All right, here's the plan. One, two, three. I'm going to cast Coalition Relic. Uh, I'm going to cast the Book of Exalted Deeds. Oh. Nice. This is a legendary artifact at the beginning of your end step. If you gain three or more life this turn, create a 3-3 three, three white angel creature token with flying. And white, 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 and tap an exile book, put an enlightened counter on target angel. You can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. Activate only as a sorcery. I don't know why that was Dewey. so funny. <laughs> All right. What keyword does your horror have? Trample? Yes. What's its uh, name again? Uh, which one? The uh, horror that made the centaurs. Hunted horror. Hunted horror. Eh. I wish it was Hunted Wumpus. Hunted Wumpus is another great <laughs> card, but uh, yeah, a different card in the long line of hunted Indeed. cards. <laughs> All right, uh, I have to make some friends with some people here, and I think those friendships are four damage flying to Olivia and three damage flying to Ailey. I accept. We're best All friends right. now. Uh, I gain four life because I have lifelink. I'm going to go to my end step. Uh, the Book of Exalted Deeds is going to trigger and it's going to poop out an angel, which is going to trigger the Bishop of Wings and I'm going to gain another four life. <laughs> got so hard and got so hard. <laughs> Man, Olivia sure is the threat, eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> She scares me. I'm going to make this 3-3 three, three angel token. I'm so dumb. I could have hit you. It gets menace. <laughs> Maybe I helped Olivia get closer to something big that can kill an angel. 
Yeah, you're letting me draw some gas. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty good on the lands front for once in my... Oh, see, I can't even say that, like, this is because I'm a, like, galaxy brain genius. It's a pre-con. Of course, there's more lands in there. <laughs> true. More than the 20-something you're used to. <laughs> That's uh, not true! Go ahead, One Amy. Deck. Oh, all right. So let's see. Surge, I'm looking at which creatures you still have up. You have the 3-3... Three, three, with flying. One, it's an angel. Four. Yeah. Dang, I hate that if I kill that angel, you still get a 1-1. One, one. That's mm -hmm. Kadama. That's Should straight up criminal. Token. You know what else is straight up criminal? The fact that my stuff doesn't die. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Straight up shuts off my commander. But I feel like I should probably get my commander out anyway. Probably be a good idea. But um, first, uh, I'm going to take advantage of still having the GGs out on the battlefield. And I'm going to pay one, two, three, four, five for the Horde Wing Scab. Other zombies I control have flying. Ooh, oh, yay. that's useful. Whenever one or more zombies I control deal damage, sorry, combat damage to one or more of my opponents, I may draw cards equal to the number of opponents dealt damage that way. If I do, I discard that many cards. Oh, nice. Spicy. Like filter things around. And I will go to combat. And, uh, Serge, I'm going to attack you with the 3-4 Spark Reaper. That's a zombie. And with GG. And you know what? I think the centaurs are getting in, too. The centaurs <laughs> are getting in, too. Centaurs are getting in, too. There's three Some of that action. From black. They want a party. I have an important question. Do you have a yes, combat I'm trick? Fine. Wouldn't you like to know? Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to block your 2-3 with my angel. Okay. It and is I'm a 3-4 at this moment because it's getting the plus one, plus one. Plus one, plus one. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was plus one, plus oh. <laughs> oh. Plus one, plus no. Oh, I will block one of your centaurs with my uh, my little bishop friend here, and I will block uh, one of your other centaurs with my angel friend here. All right. So one of those will yeah, trade, we'll trade with the angel. Yeah. And, and then I will not block the rest and take how much damage? Seven. Since I dealt damage to you with the Spark Reaper, which is a zombie, I'm going to choose to draw and then discard. Very cool. I am going to... I had an angel. Whenever an angel you control dies, create a 1-1 one, one spirit creature token with flying. That's it my looks spirit. Like, looks like a little mm -hmm. bug. <laughs> oh, and these both have flying now. Thanks, my dear friend, though. Lord Wing Scab. I am going to put the card Eater of Hope into the graveyard. It is a demon. It's oh a 6 me, 4. Oh my. And it has some activated abilities it can't use, but if I could use them, <laughs> sacrifice another creature to regenerate it, or um, pay three, sacrifice two other creatures to destroy a creature. Terrifying. If I can activate. If. That will be my turn. Okie dokie. Untap, upkeep. Oh, uh. Chaos, Cha Chaos Ooh. Wand. Chaos. Cinderglade. Greater Gargadon. Oh, yeah. Oh, frick. Buddy. And Wild Magic Sorcerer. This uh, this enchantment's going to get out of hand. I like it. Yeah, I love <laughs> things when they get out of hand. All right, let's go. Let's roll. Ten. Oof. But that was a 20 for a second. A 2-2 two -two Aru, and then put a 1-1 one -one counter on it for each creature card among these cards. So this Aru will receive four plus one plus. Does one it look at the, the, the first pile as well? It looks that's, like it. I think the way it works is every ability. Yeah, 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 every ability just looks at the stack of cards that's there, oh, which grows okay. over time. And when you get a twenty, you get them all, and then it goes away. But if it gets oh disenchanted, you lose gosh. everything. Exactly. That's gross, yeah. That card and I is love really it. cool, actually. And it is very fun. Yeah. yeah. And I like that it's not so busted it's clearly if you get an enchantment removal you get hose but if you roll a 20 let's go and you are in fun city yeah all right i'm now gonna draw for turn would you look at that i'm gonna play this here mountain i don't have a one one so love struck beast can but it can block for me if i need it that's always helpful amy yes today is your lucky day am i gonna get more horses i mean centaurs well Maybe. I can't. I'm not in control of that. But I'm going to let you do stuff. I'm going to Mizzy a Mortars Linvala. Huh. I'm going to deal four damage to her. Neat. Whenever another non token creature you control dies, return that card to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. You It'll get her back. back. <clears throat> he can recast her, but 
Whenever an angel dies, I make a 1-1. One, one. I will tap three and play Lovestruck Beast. I'll deal three damage to Serge's face. <laughs> Fair. I thought so. You said that's all? I, I I think so. All right. End step. I'll return Linvala. All righty. Um, dibbity toppity, all of my crappity. You're not as fun as the flyer, but you know what? We'll play ya. Mine's down. Doesn't let me steal things, unfortunately, but it adds mana and I can draw a card, so I like it. That's cool. Right assessment, Surge. Olivia's still terrifying, though, but I will ignore her for the time being and uh, send two Menace horrors at you, dear friend, Surge. So one is a 7-7 seven, seven with Trample? Yes, and the 3-3 three, three is a flying menace. So I can't kill either, but I can... Yep. You know what? No. If I take 10, I mill 10, right? Yeah. And then I get, and then you get I to get pick a good one angel. All right. Yes, you know what? I'll take 10. Because if I go to 28, I won't be threatening anymore. That's how that works, right? <laughs> Until so I'm at 28. Liliesa attacks or something. Cavernous Souls. Unburial Rites. I was hoping we'd hit something like that. <laughs> All right. Enlightened Tutor. Council's Judgment. That makes me sad. Savine's Reclamation. All right, we haven't hit a creature yet. We've hit all my reanimation spells, though. Mm -hmm. oh, some of Is which can be played from the graveyard. Hey. Not yet. All right. Planes. Oh, no. A Chroma oh, yeah. Vision of Ixidor. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's uh, that's a very, <laughs> very, Chroma? very bad thing for Ailey to get suddenly. I was hoping... Oh, but a very funny thing for her to get. <laughs> I was hoping specifically not to hit that angel. All right. And then we have <laughs> land, land... Uh, you could take this arcane segment. <laughs> Not on you your know, life. I think I think that's a really strong value play is to take the signet. <laughs> wow. Of everything to hit, no creatures other than literally the actual best creature in my deck. <laughs> All, right, All right. Well, uh, enjoy the acroma. <laughs> Thank you. I will steal that from you uh, yeah. before oh, I go to Lord. my end step. Cool, cool. I will. You know what you should cool, do, cool. though? You should let everybody know what a chroma does because not everybody yeah. has seen why this is probably the best right. angel in your deck. This has right. so many words on it. Okay, so mm. it's a seven mana, six, six legendary angel with flying, first strike, vigilance, and trample. And at the beginning of each combat until end of turn, each other creature you control gets plus one, plus one if it has flying, if it has first strike, and so on for double strike, death touch, haste, hexproof, indestructible, <laughs> lifelink, menace, protection, reach, trample, vigilance, and partner. Nice. And all of your horrors gain menace. One of your horrors has flying. One of your horrors has trample. Yeah. Just like Ufa oh, Ladufa. Cool, cool. Does she buff herself? Each, oh, no, each other creature. Jeez. Lord. Not only did you get the best creature from my deck, you also just got a mega anthem for your board. Thank you. I appreciate You're welcome. it. I picked the right target this time. One, two, three, four, five. I am going to play on my second main Psychosis Crawler. It is XX, star, star. Power and toughness is equal to the number of cards in my hand. One. <laughs> Whenever you draw Word. a card, each opponent loses one life. My pingy ding. All right, then on the end step, I am taking that angel. Hello, Akroma. I was really hoping, hoping against hoping, that you were going to whiff on 10 cards and then you hit the... <laughs> I almost did. Yeah. <laughs> but here we are. All right, now I'm going to use my fancy new dice. She's got dying. You do have a reanimator in your graveyard, though, which is pretty nice. Yeah, but no other creatures. I either wanted to hit 10 creatures or no creatures, you know? Hey, go. Pretty my new dice to good work. Good lord. <laughs> good lord. <laughs> All right. And I'm done. Untap, untap, untap. Um, there's also the sadness step that happens right now, resolves. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Harold's Horn, uh, we're zero for three so far. I have to show it. It's not an angel, but it's a shapeshifter. It's a metallic mimic. Not an angel. <laughs> this is the other non-angel I have, so I'm going to go ahead and draw that for my turn <laughs> and be sad. First order of business. Two mana. We're going to cast the metallic mimic. Naming angel. Goodness, an angel has entered the battlefield, hasn't it? I, I know. I know. I'm shocked. Second order of business. Is it gaining for life? You wanted to, you wanted me to have Angel of or Linvala not in play, so I'm not going to play Linvala. That'll be <laughs> that'll be my gift to you. <clears throat> well, Olivia, 
So I'm going to cast Angel of Finality instead. And I'm going to exile, yeah, probably Amy's graveyard. I got guys in there. I get it. Yeah. I got yeah. ways to play him, bring him back, all that stuff. All right. So an angel's going to come into play. And whenever an angel enters the battlefield under my control, I gain four life. Do you gain for the shapeshifter as well? Yeah. No, the shapeshifter doesn't enter as an angel. This is not oh, a changeling. Oh, I thought it was. Oh, okay. No, no, no. The this is this is one that works well with synergies, but it's specifically not a change lane that doesn't count as an angel, which is why I had to draw it no, instead of getting it, it for enter free. Enter the battlefield because as it enters the battlefield, it is an angel. It wasn't an angel when you cast it. It wasn't oh, an angel in the deck. But I'm going to be honest with you. Now. I've never read the second line of text on this card. <laughs> that it is an angel. Yeah, I, I specifically what thought kind it wasn't. Judge All right, are you. I'll stop arguing. <laughs> you know, I'll gain four life. I'll stop arguing. He's You're an off-duty right. judge, okay? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> each other creature you control of the chosen type enters with a plus one plus one counter. So my angel of finality is going to enter with a plus one plus one counter on it, and uh, then I'm going to pass angel. and go to my end step. And the book of exalted deeds is going to notice that I gained life, and give me. That's right, another angel which is going to gain me another four life. I'm not a fan of this. I just did so much damage to you. I didn't attack anybody. You're right. It also gets a counter on, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> hey, is that your turn? Yeah. Okay, okay, I feel fear. I feel great fear. My creatures cannot- Hey, Olivia has a 12-12, just, um, just saying. Yeah, I have a creature with death touch. They're pretty much just like the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just multitasking. She's like, listen here, you shut up. I'm shouting at someone. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the swamp on the battlefield, bringing me up to a nice seven lands, which is enough for me to play not one, but two more lords. So I'm going to start with the Cemetery Reaper. It's going to give all other zombies I control plus one, plus one. It also has an activated ability where I can pay three, tap it to exile target creature card from a graveyard to create a 2-2 black zombie. And the other one, Tomb Tyrant. This one's actually new to me. Other zombies you control get plus one, plus one. I can also pay three, tap, sacrifice a creature, and return a zombie creature at random from my graveyard to the battlefield. I can only activate that during my turn, and also only if there are at least three zombie creature cards in my graveyard, which there definitely aren't now because my graveyard's been exiled. So all of these zombies are getting plus three, plus three, and flying. So we've got a five, five, six, six, five, five, six, six, and uh, five, six here. They're getting kind of big, unfortunately. They still can't really break through Surge's line because they get blocked. They just kind of put things back into Surge's hand and then he gains more life and then he gets more spirits and gets more angels. So yeah. the only one that does return to my hand are these two. Mm-hmm. Yes, so all but also, if I just kind of slam into you, then you can block with your 4-4 angel, kill one of my beautiful, beautiful children. That is true, and, too. Um, I then you just get more spirits. Yeah. Sure, these precons have removal. It's fine. Yeah. Um, it was in my graveyard. It was, <laughs> it was, it was in my graveyard. And that'll be my turn. Upkeep. Uh, nat we got natural reclamation. Mm. A dream pillager. Oh, a forest and a delayed blast fireball. Let's go, Nat 20. I just want to happen so it's on film and it's yeah, like I wanted to a happen thing that occurs. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 17. Close. <clears throat> we advance ever closer. I get a wolf and it gets uh, one one for each counter or each creature. <laughs> this is dog army. We got a dog army, a zombie army, an angel army, and horrors. There's a new Awu in town. <sighs> Which now makes me think of the Eagles' new kid in town, which at the very last part of the chorus, I think it's Don Henley, actually goes, ah, uh, at the end of it. Makes it funny. So. What's the I, old, the old uh, Werewolf in London song that actually includes yes. a in it? Yes. Uh, <sighs> God, who is that? Why can't I remember? It'll come to me during the turn. I will now draw. Oh, Warren Zevon. That's who it is. Yes. Haha. -ha. All right. Take Olivia to trivia nights, nice, <clears throat> folks. <laughs> yeah, listen. <laughs> I'm. <sighs> I get to feel so smart when I go to trivia mm. and they're like, oh yeah, music from before 2000s. Like, got this. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So my I, when I was up in Seattle, I would go every Monday to a place uh, on in Queen Anne, and they had Monday night trivia, and you could win like a fifty dollar tab. So we just kept doing it so we could win and pay for our dinner that night. Nice, <laughs> so like we nice. literally just turned it into go the infinite. big churn. Yeah, yeah, That's awesome. So uh, John would be sports and you know like news stuff. I could do politics and most music, and then my friend Sarah also did like all the pop culture stuff. So between the three of us, we were like unstoppable. For nice. Night. <laughs> okay, I will cast. Is it Chemister with Hoste? Hey, red and tap. Exile target instant or sorcery from my graveyard. One red tap sack. Cast any number of cards exiled with a chemister without paying their balance. I will exile a, a, a spell here. Kind of feeling I should get this uh, <laughs> Linvala down again here. <laughs> <laughs> should which I, which should one I, do you exile? I haven't exiled one yet. Oh, okay. But I think it's going to be Escape to the Wilds. Good choice. I could do a bunch of ramp spells, but I feel like... You, you could overkill in that yeah. department. I think. I think I'm doing okay there. <laughs> this is very specific. <laughs> like, too specific. So I'm going to pay one and tap my commander to discard it and exile the top card in my library. Uh, I'm discarding green slime, which counters an activated or triggered ability, but from an artifact or enchantment source. I will exile. Ooh, primeval bounty. Let's go. <laughs> oh, done. I will cast primeval bounty. What is that? It is an enchantment. Whenever I cast a creature spell, I get a 3-3 beast. Whenever I cast a non-creature spell, I put three 1-1 one, one counters on target creature oh. I control. Whenever a land <laughs> ETBs, I gain three life. <laughs> okay. So I cast that from exile. Surge, why are you back at 40? You're back at 34 now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's so I fair. I did this. I did... Yeah, that was for here. <clears throat> this is for that. And then I need to tap the rest for bounty. Look at all these friends. This will be my reminder. <laughs> <laughs> Lorge Dice has made an appearance. It is, it is Lorge and in charge. I will now take this opportunity. Oh, that's a very large Acroma over there, isn't it? It's only a 6-6. Six, six, six. Six. But it flaps. That's the problem. It does, it does flippity flap. Flapping yes. and first strike and vigilance oh, and trampling. Can't really do anything about that right now. Serge, what do you have? You've got. One, I have two one three, ones, three. one four four, one four five, one four five, one one four, and one two one. <laughs> do any of them have the bad touch? No, none of them have the bad touch. This guy has the bad giant. touch. Okay. Swinging into anybody just means my things die and I don't get a benefit from it. <laughs> that seems foolish. You see who the sensible I, host is here. But I can't block flyers. I know. I, why am I trying to be smart? I should just start swinging at things like a drunken <laughs> face, toddler. Hit, face. Um, face, hit, face, hit. Face, be, face, face. I don't know that face. I'm going to get face damage. That's the only problem. Well, you can't block the face damage anyways. True. I don't have more face damage. I'm going to sit here and think about my decisions and pass. All right. Oh. <laughs> I shall untap. I'm gonna move Hello, this big bird. Pile, pile of exi exile pile right over here. <laughs> Piling and exiling. I will draw a card. Trigger on Psychosis Crawler. Everybody takes a damage. Well, loses a life. How much? Just one. That's gross. I like gross. I mean, Escape to the Wilds for two isn't bad, though. Hey, Serge, how many more uh, big dumb things do you have in <laughs> The biggest, <laughs> dumbest thing I have is a four or five, of which I have two. Okay. I have a trampler with Menace. All my horrors have menace. So they all get the plus one, oh. plus one from that. Then the flampler and the, well, the flyer and the trampler get an additional plus ones. This guy's a nine, nine at the beginning of combat. You have nine power on the board there. Yeah. As you kill him, Uh, Your trampler? Yeah. Yeah. I can. I mean, I, I'd have to dedicate multiple creatures to it, but I could in theory kill it. I have to put Liesa in the way. Or Lisa, however the heck you say her. Uh, in I theory, I could block with spirit tokens, angel finality, and the angel. Okay. So she would well. be in the firing line. I want to hit things. I like to hit stuff. <laughs> she has first strike. I know she's not a horror. Swing in all of these friends at you, Surge. So it's a 9 9 trample menace, 6 6 flapper with keyword soup, and a 5 5 flying menace. And if you hit me. At the end step, you get a creature back. 
get a creature if I've milled it this turn from your graveyard. Well, if you've milled it or, for example, if I kill my Acroma, do I get it back oh, or could you take it back? Hang on. At the beginning of your end well, step, choose exiled. target artifacts or creature an opponent's graveyard that was put there from their library. So it has to come, it has okay, to come so from I, your library. Okay, so if I manage to quadruple block a Chroma, I could get a Chroma back, is what I'm learning No, because a Chroma would get exiled. You have a <laughs> Liesa out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no! Bamboozled no! by your own commander! Hosed by my own hoser! <laughs> yeah, I'm just like over here like, wow, my commander does nothing. I don't even want to cast him because there's no death. <laughs> uh, there's no death. There is no death. I'm sorry that my commander is hosing your commander. <laughs> it's not your fault. I'm doing it's my best to kill it for Amy, so it's okay. Fault. And yeah. so you have a 5-5 a, a five, five Menace is the other thing you have flying up there? Yeah. Okay, so here's uh, Chroma. Stupid Chroma has stupid trample. Oh yeah, she does. <laughs> Importantly All though, right. she this doesn't add to the, the mill. She's not a horror. Although Here's she's horror, horror bull, but she's not a horror. Yeah, <laughs> horror. yeah, 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 yeah. All right, this is another spirit. This is five power. That's going to block your five five. Yep. And then this is nine power and toughness, whatever. That's going to block your hunted horror. Okay. If that makes sense. So yes. uh, as things stand right now, I'm not blocking a chroma and I'm double blocking your five five and triple blocking your nine nine. Okay. So, so clean trades here with the, the well, flyer so, and sorry, your first, birds. First strike damage, I'll take six. Oh, yeah. So donk. All right. So I go uh, down to 27. Life, think, so. All right. Clean trade. So mm -hmm. my angel is going to die and get replaced by a spirit. So I'm just going to leave the spirit that's there. Sure. This exiles. All right. How would you like to order blocks for the 9-9? I would nine? like to kill your commander, please. Albeit briefly. Okay. So you can do five damage there and kill the spirit? Yes, please. Okay. And then so angel of finality is going to be back. Um, when an angel dies, I get a second spirit, so it's going to yeah. go like this. So no damage and trampled through it, because Liesa's butt is bigger than... I had um, 11 toughness okay. on that side. Oh, so I could put Lisa to my hand or Liesa to my hand instead of the commands if I wanted to, right? No, oh, it's another that specifically doesn't affect yeah. herself. I think she goes okay, back. Okay, cool. Regardless. So, unfortunately... Oh, right, yeah, yeah, and your two creatures got exiled, which yeah. you already did probably. Yeah, yes, they're nice. on the side cool. here. Cool. Second main phase. I'm gonna cost for five mana. A nemesis of reason. This is a oh, yeah. three seven that says whenever this attacks, defending player mills ten cards. So now I don't have to deal Ooh. combat damage to you for Captain Nugathrod. Steal and mm. plunder. Yarr. This is a really relatable card as somebody who's also the nemesis of reason. Head empty. <laughs> no thoughts. Head empty, only kill. Mm. <laughs> Uh, all right, that's my third search. Uh, end step. I'm going to put a counter on Coalition Relic. Untap, untap, upkeep. We're zo zero for four on the horn so far. I believe. Uh, we're zero for five on the horn so far. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play this Fetid Heath. Fetid. Mm -hmm. Fetid. And, oh, we're uh, throwing a party. This is a this is a white mana now. A white mana. And it was a French joke, Serge. Uh, très bien. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven off of the Herald's Horn. I'm going to cast a Radiant Sarah Archangel. This is a seven mana, six, four with flying, and says tap another untapped creature you control with flying, and Sarah gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. Nice. I'm going to gain four life, and this is going to enter with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Sick. Big girl. Big girl don't like that. Mm -hmm. But my big girl does like that. Uh, all of your stuff flies, Amy? No, the centaur and Gigi are on the ground. Okay. These guys, though, they're all flying. Yeah. So I'll, I'll have you know, Amy, out of consideration to you and our and our longstanding friendship, I have neither recast my commander nor Linvala so that you may yeah. pop off next turn and kill Alien Olivia. So <laughs> just... You, just mean... Just, just, just put that out there. Damage. Yeah. And and in in and in anticipation for this glorious moment, I will be attacking Olivia for six in the air. Oh wow! It's just kind of setting things off. Okay. So what I, what I'm showing you is that in an act of goodwill and good faith, my shields are down, and I have stopped blocking your deck from doing its thing. 
Mm-hmm. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, I'm going to go to end step. My book of exalted deeds is going to trigger and give me an angel. And I'm going to gain another four life. Uh, Ellie, other than a chroma, do you have any creatures with flying? No. Okay. All the others are chilling on the floor. That's where all my sure. creatures are. All right. Great. <laughs> Am I going to get elf you, struck? Did you take How much? It was six. Before? Yeah. I did yeah. not. Thank you. A land, another swamp for my collection. I love my delicious swamps. Uh, I'm going to pay two for Undead Augur. This is a 2-2 zombie wizard. Um, When it or another zombie I control dies, I draw a card and lose a life now that my creatures can die again. You know, (laughs) you know. Now that my creatures can die again. Hooray! (laughs) Everybody claps. (laughs) And I'm also going to get my commander, Wilhelt Rotcleaver. Um, This is a 3-3 zombie warrior. When another zombie I control dies, if it didn't have decayed, I create a 2-2 black zombie creature token with decayed. At the beginning of my end step, I may sacrifice the zombie. If I do, I draw a card. Well, well, well. Well, One more zombie Welly, welly, welly. Haley, I see that Akroma over there is a 6-6. And unfortunately... With first strike... First strike, which actually means if I hit you, I'm going to be losing at least one of these, which yes. is tough. But I don't think that Olivia, despite all of her beautiful ramp and creatures on the ground, needs to die quite yet. No. Thank you. <laughs> so, um. I would Haley, just like to um, point out she has more doggos than you have zombos. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ellie, uh, I, I am going to swing at you with a couple little buddies here. I'm going to swing at you with the Hordwing Scab. So that is... Oh, actually, no, that's one is giving my guys flying. Oh, no. Can I okay. kill it, though, with all the buffs you've given them? Yes. Yes, yes because it's only a 6-6. Six, six. Ah, yeah, that would die. Serge, how are you doing, friend? Good. Chilling. Trying to look non-threatening. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, I can't actually hit Ailey without um, depleting my board state beyond a comfortable level. I mean, stuff dies, isn't great. that what you want? You can recost Recon. it. Stuff dies, but unfortunately it dies in such a way that leaves me dead also. Um, mm. So, uh, Ailey, I'm going to swing at you with the Cemetery Reaper. It is a 5-5. Five, five. I'm going to swing at you with the Diagraph Captain. It is a 5-5 five, five with Death Touch. I'm going to swing at you with the Spark Reaper. It is a 5-6. And I will let you choose which of these beautiful zomboys perish. They're all flying. Which one's the most expensive one? They are all three mana. Really? Wow. Wow. Yes. Well, I'll kill the Death Toucher with my first striking fiend. So that kills this. And these actually both shrink then. So you will take four damage from the Spark Reaper and then um, four damage from the Cemetery Reaper. Eight. And since I've dealt damage to one opponent, I'm going to draw. I'm going to discard an you island. Also get death triggers, I think? Yes, I do. I get one death trigger from my commander, who I just covered up here, thinking he was the graveyard. In the graveyard. He pretty much <laughs> is the graveyard. <laughs> um, get the bin, Will Hilt. And I get a decayed zombie, which yes. is this. Then at the beginning of my end step, I may sacrifice the zombie. There's one more trigger ability too. The one you just creatured. I think when a zombie dies, you gain a life. You draw a card and lose a life. Oh yes, on the undead auger. Sorry, there's a lot to keep track of here. Oh, this Um, poor person. Your deck is finally online. You've been held down for so long. It's like the first (laughs) turn you finally get to play the deck, right? Yeah, and I'm gonna (laughs) sacrifice that zombie in end step to draw another card. Lovely, and that's my turn. But at least I dealt some damage. Uh, before Olivia's turn, I'm just going to do this now. I'm going to pay one and sacrifice my Mind Stone to draw a card. I'm going to ding you all. Uh, oh. It's one? You all get dinged. It's little one. spiteful dings, yeah. Easy ding. Ding. Easy did, ding, easy Did you bang. click the things? Did you what? click the things? That is a good question, Olivia. We have to, to make ask the you dings. right now. <laughs> did you click the things that make the dings? Exactly. I will untap. I will upkeep. Forests, Ash Barons, oh, and Whoa, race forerunners. God, if you hit a 20 now, Man we are so 20, dead. Not 20, not 20, not 20, not 20, not 20, not 20, not 20. Not 20, not 20, not 20. 
<laughs> come on, come 20, on, come 20, on, come on. All right, 20, Olivia, 20. no pressure. You got this. Oh my god, I want it so bad. Come on, I want all four runners. Oh, don't throw it on the floor. I threw. I no, I threw, threw it on the floor. <laughs> Floor's lucky. That's where the good snacks are. <laughs> my dog would agree with you. Yeah. Sixteen. Oh. It's another big well, woo, though. It is an awu. <laughs> as fun as a nat 20. Oh my god, I need it so bad now. One. Two, oh my god. I want this three, to happen. We're all four, dead five, if it does, but I want it to happen. Seven. I know, but it'll be so cool. <laughs> what I need I need Brian to come in here and roll the die, because he's got the luck. I do not mm. have the luck. It's he's going got to the be luck. <laughs> this wolf looks different. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's it just uh, that's definitely a a wolf. It just, that's it's just a like complete wolf. To the other. Yeah, yeah, it's complete wolf. When a wolf gets swollen enough, it just starts to look a little different. Okay, it looks, it looks <laughs> yeah. a little different. All right, I'm gonna draw a card. Oh man, I like the other art from this, but that's okay. Discard this Ember Shield Breaker and exile. Hornet Queen, let's oh, go. Buzz, buzz, baby. So much for being able to attack Olivia in the air, eh? Buzz, 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 buzz. Danger, danger. <laughs> we love the buzz. All right, so that's seven. Let's cast the queen. That's another seven Third damage take coming. seven. <laughs> I mean, rude, but okay. <laughs> Tough, but fair. Um, yeah, yeah, I am yeah. casting a creature spell, so I'll also make a beast. <laughs> oh, I have many things to deal with on this board. Uh-huh, just a few. So not... Hornet Queen, remind me, all of them have death touch? When uh -huh. Hornet Queen ETBs, four one one green flying insect creatures with uh, insect creature tokens with flying death touch, yes. Uh, and she also has flying and death touch. So she's a two two, uh, and she brought four four bees or four bees with her. Hornets mm -hmm. are the worst, and bees are the best. Yes, one Some is useful. The other okay. just wants to kill you. What hornets are okay? Some hornets are okay. Which ones? They're all jerks. They bite. They're from jerks, but some of them are still pollinators. Also, some of them all are right, really creepy. All right. Oh my goodness, you're running out of board space there. <laughs> Shh, I would, I would never. Um, <laughs> Just because uh, hornets are angry little <laughs> doesn't mean yes. that they're not important to the <laughs> ecosystem. Okay. Exactly. Some of us are angry little. <laughs> We're important to the ecosystem. <laughs> well, I mean, like, if you're a hornet, you can be the one cool hornet. The pollinator hornets are, like, straight mediocre. Like, they are <laughs> shockingly adequate, and the rest can go to hell. I'm going to stay on the side of the buzz over here. Okay. While you buzz, I'm going to sacrifice this Is It Chemister and play Escape to the Wilds without paying its mana cost. Yes, I am, so gross. I am casting it. It is a non-creature spell, so I'm going to put three one one counters on a creature that could and that's from Exile, hey? Yeah, it's from Exile. Five damage. So, oh, that's right, because it's its man of value, even though I didn't pay it. Mm -hmm. We're going to make, make a cast for giant. three off the chemistry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for Surge to fall out his chair there. <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting funky. All right. <laughs> um, He's taking five. So this is, hold on, this is 11. I need to be smart and put a different die for different things be because- Be smart. All right, so it's three from that, whatever the hell it is, primeval bounty. Okay, so I'm gonna exile the top five cards in my library. I'm gonna exile more of my library than I'm gonna play. Mm -hmm. Respect it. Oh, let's oh no. Go. Oh, Remember yeah. when I said she's gonna oh. get a big dumb draw spell? Yup, yup. Everything's fine. Who built this deck? <laughs> Watsy, talk to them. Gavin. I've done nothing wrong. Who, what, what are hand sizes? I have two. Four. Two. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I just threw cards. Well, wait, four will get me there. I don't, I don't like knowing what there is. <laughs> uh, to return to the wild speaker where I can draw a bunch of cards. Well, huh? hold on. Before you do that, you have a triggered ability to do five damage to somebody. And You're I think correct. your commander also triggers and gives you another a woo. She does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many things. <sighs> then you can okay. get more value. Your original <laughs> pile of woos can be. This is, this is a wolf. <laughs> I'm going to put a chip from the Cosmo on it. Um, that's how I know it's a wolf. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Yes. Uh, 
Amy, take five. Let's all be in the 20s together. The roaring 20s. I'm gonna pay three to cast Jessica's will and I'm going to get uh, four mana. I do control my commander, so I will also exile the top three cards in my library. I can play them this turn. Then you dig another three somewhere? Jessica's will? Well, let's cast Felder from one. exile. Oh my god, you're right. And you get another uh, wolf. You get another wolf. Uh, Crap, this is whenever. This is so busted. Yeah, it's messed up. Um, I, it's wild that like this commander offers takes you card advantage and offers creatures. you creatures. What? And damage. That's sweet. The damage is off the this background, I think, right? Okay. Yeah, the damage has been yeah. off. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. damage is right, from right. the, the uh, archaeologist. Okay, I'm going right, to play right. a land, and I have four red mana. You played it from exile? That's another Just wolf? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> so I do think the wolf counter with the three, uh, the D6 with three on it, is also normal wolves you had. Yeah. Oh, you're so right. So you have two piles. Yeah. The, yes, the D20s but this, this are is better because now I know that I have three wolves that are summoning six. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Got. They can combine we'll forces make... next turn. Yes, they can. So these are all in exile. Surge take five. What? Why? Because I'm casting <laughs> Return of the Wild Speaker. Okay. Oh, are you going to buff I'm gonna draw cards? I'm, I'm 100% drawing cards. Well, it would be more fun to buff things. Oh, but I like drawing cards. Do, do what you will. We didn't get the plus one, plus one counters. We forgot counters the primeval the... bounties. Yeah. yeah. We got it for the we got it for the first one. We got we it for escape, get... so I need to yeah. do it for Jessica. All right. Um, uh, triggers. There's a lot of triggers happening here. There were very many triggers. I'm going to put just it on the enough. love struck beast. So I just have a big old, big old beastie friend. All right. Block. All right. Um, now I'm doing this. I'm telling Surge to take five. Done. I am still currently debating my strat here those are my exile friends yeah we are kind of in that territory huh let's do that i'll give plus three plus three to my friends until end of turn <laughs> oh are you just overrunning your whole team yeah you know what let's and you have another pl three plus one plus one counters from that spell as well correct oh <laughs> this is disgusting <laughs> a little bit i will put them on this aru with plus one counters. Okay, so I'll give this Aru uh, seven more counters. So it's a nine nine. All right, so uh -huh. these friends cannot attack. Neither can your Hornet Queen. Neither can these friends. All right. And oh, your Hornet beast was this turn doesn't have too? a one one. Yeah. And what? Yeah, she has your left struck beast to on attack either. Right. But everything else is large. That's six creatures mm -hmm. that are of shocking size and girth. <laughs> they chonky. All right, so I have two 9-9 nine, nine wolves, a 7-7 seven, seven wolf, a 14-14 14, 14 beanstalk giant, three two twos, and then everything that's not a human gets 3-3. Three, three. Ailey, let's let you edit. Okay. <laughs> Finish her. <laughs> so. 14-14. 14, everything in me, that might be overkill. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay. Um, I have four blockers. See, you've got four blockers. Okay. So I'm gonna send the two 14 14s at Ailey and- Which is the second 14 14? These two friends. Okay. Oh wait, they're not, they're 12 12s. I apologize, 12 12s. Cause they get the plus three from wild speaker. Yeah, 12 12s, okay. Quite large. Yeah, they're they're huge. Even the wolves are five fives. And three it five fives at you. And three five coming? fives at you. And then Amy, I'm going to send 14 14 and a- 10, 10 at you. Okay, all right, all right, okay, okay, all right, all right. The 14, 14, I'm going to block with my undead auger. Okay. And... I love the auger, yes. And the, um, is it a 10, 10? Yes. I will jump block with the centaur token. Okay. I am advancing the board state and making attacks. Appreciate and that. I've got just two creatures coming to me. You've got... Five creatures coming at you. Five. Two 12 12s and three five fives. All right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and resolve this. I yeah. have lost a life, drawn a card, RIP to my beautiful centaur. I get a decay zombie. There we go. I will block the biggest ones with these two creatures. Okay. And then the five fives will be blocked with these two. They'll okay. just, they'll die and bounce off them. Okay, so one five five will survive. Yeah, so that one will get Great. through and I'll take five. Right, he'll go back to the command zone and. My psychosis caller will exile. No, she's not on the board. Die. Oh, this says from an opponent's graveyard. That's too much work. No, I'm not going to do that. 
I'll, uh, <laughs> I will play a, did I play a land? No, I played the forest. Yeah, you've played one land this turn. That's all I can do. That's fine. Um, but you cost I've escape to the wild, so you can cost a second. Oh, then let's play play another land. I'm going <laughs> to hit. Land, I'm going to hit Amy for zero to send a message. Okay. But you Ow. also get another wolf, and you get three life. This is so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, this is the first and last time I'm playing this deck. There's a lot to think about and remember. I'll pass. <laughs> Says you, who likes to just dirtle and goldfish with artifacts. That's not true. That's different. I know what those do. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> These are creatures. This makes no sense to me. Mm, fair. <laughs> I'll pass. Anything else? All right. Cool. No, Let's see. I, I have done enough. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Okay. I would like to get my commander back out, so I'm going to pay seven for him. He's back. Back again. I will play Demir Aqueduct as my land for turn. I'll just bounce a swamp. I am going to probably die next turn, but I want to swing on this guy anyway. Nemesis of Reason. You see, Reason says I should not swing, but this is my nemesis. Amy. Uh -huh. I'm attacking you with a 4-8 menace friend. Mm -hmm. Roma gives him the plus because he has Menace. And how block it. much do I mill? You mill 10. And, and the horror damage too. And then horror damage after, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, that's Liliana's Mastery, Butcher of Malakir, yeah. Island, Exotic Orchard, that's four. Five is Siphon Flesh, Shadowkin, Curse of Unbinding, Undead Alchemist, this is number eight, Forgotten Creation, nine, Mortuary Mire, and ten, Ruthless Death Fang. Uh, <laughs> and then another four yeah. from Bonk. the damage, Signet, Drown in Dreams, Swamp and Tread Summon. So let me separate out the things you can yeah. take. Printers um, and artifacts, so that would, please. That'd be the sickness. Sickness, wow. Signet, Ruthless Death of Hang. Um, that is a 4-4 four, four flyer. Whenever you sacrifice a creature, target opponent sacrifices a creature. Ooh. Forgotten Creation, that is a zombie horror with a Skulk. 3-3 so three, three at the beginning of your upkeep. You may discard a little card in your hand and draw that many copies. Undead Alchemist is if a zombie you control would deal combat damage to a player. Instead, that player mills that many cards. Um, whenever a creature is put into an opponent's graveyard from their library, you exile that card and make a 2-2 black zombie token. Shadowkin is a shapeshifter, which makes each player mill three cards. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Upkeep, each player mills three cards. You may exile a creature card from among the cards milled this way if you do. This becomes a copy of that card, except it has this ability. Um, Butcher of Malakir. When it or another creature you control dies, each opponent sacrifices a creature, and it is a flyer. I think I'm going to take the Butcher. Mm. The Butcher mm. of Malakir. Yeah. It's like 5-4 flyer just for you. Thank you. Birds. Exile. Birds are useful. Uh, what's its creature type? Oh, yeah, I can see the Vampire it's Warrior. It's a Vampire Warrior. Odd one for okay. this deck. 5-4. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Men dies, people sacrifice. Nice. That very much rhymes. That's my turn. I expect to die. <laughs> End step. I'm going to put a counter on Coalition Relay. Untap, untap. All right, you ready for this? I can't go through an entire game. Six turns, constantly miss on my Herald's Horn. Is that right? You're going to get it, I believe. I mean, maybe. Heart of the cards. I nailed it, and it's the heart of the deck. That's right. Sarah Angel. All nice. right. Yeah. Angel of Did angels. It. I just yeah, look at this. That's card advantage, baby. Oh, that's a good draw. Oh, that's a very good draw. Oh, that's a very, very good draw. How much trouble are we in on a scale of one to ah? <laughs> We're at about a Okay, well, how much damage do you have in the air? Because there's only so many bees. <laughs> There's five. Not a lot. I have one, two, six. Uh, well, I. She has enough flyers to block my whole flying board currently. So <laughs> and kill them. That, that death feels touch. bad. All right. Um, I'm going to use the floating mana from Coalition Relic to cast Shadow Spear, which is what I drew. Oh. Ooh. And then Ram. we're going to go ahead and equip the Shadow Spear onto my Radiant Sarah Archangel. Guess it could get protection from green. So now it has yeah. Flying Trample and Lifelink. And if I had my very own Avacyn, it would be huge. But I yeah. don't. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I attack Olivia. 
with a 7-5 Flying Trample Lifelink Angel that I could potentially tap another flyer to give it protection from green. Hmm. 7-5, you say? 7-5, I say. Well, I mean, you're going to have to give it proc green because I'm going to bizz in the way. How many bizzes? I only need one with death touch. I don't care about the trample. You don't care about the trample? Nope. No effects. Do you care about the trade? I don't. All right, take six trample damage. And I'm down one bzzz. I'm going to gain six life, and that puts me up to 25. I can math. Wait, seven life, because I do one to you and six tramples over. Okay, my angel dies. You know one of my favorite things about magic cards is? No. Uh Erratas. Oh my god, sir. That's you know a that, fib. No, erratas are fibs. Stop do you know it. that karmic guide is now an angel? Yes. What? What? Angel spirit. Isn't that exciting? It is. It looks so, rather angelic. So four mana, uh, plus one from the herald's horn. This angel is going to come into play <laughs> and return a creature for a card from a graveyard to play, which is this other angel. Uh, and then what's going to happen is they're both going to get plus one, plus one counters. They're both going to gain me four life from the Bishop of Wings. <laughs> so I'm gonna gain eight and go up to 35. And then I'm gonna to go to my end step. And because I gain life, the Book of Exalted Deeds is going to give me another angel with a plus one, plus one counter on it. So I'm gonna do this, which is gonna, that's right. It's gonna gain me another four life. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ladies, ladies, can we can we have a quick talk without sir? No, I am not the threat, Olivia. Anyone but you can start that talk. <laughs> well, I've started it. So here's the deal. I have all this stuff in exile that domes people. Yes. I am proposing that maybe I dome surge with them. And yes. you guys just let me do that. I 100%. am not the problem here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. I, I mean, Amy didn't agree to anything, and that's fine. I'm just, I'm explaining my plan to make and this game better. So <laughs> I do not intend to do much of anything there because I can't do very much of anything here. <laughs> also fair. Uh, go ahead. It's your turn. <gasps> oh, boy. <laughs> Now let me take a looky loo. Which of these are technically zombies? You're a zombie. You're a zombie. You're a dragon. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> right? Like, what are you even doing here, bro? What are you even doing here? The answer is getting recast by my dear friends, Diza and Jarl, who let me cast one of these on each of my turns. And that's just really nice. I'm, I'm a big fan of that. I think that's super cute. Olivia, you have to roll a 20. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really I agree. do. All right, am I, am I, okay. Hey, the two, bring back the undead auger. Very nice. Um, I'm going to play a shrimp. Add that to my beautiful pile. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. To start ticking up on something that might be able to help me and only me, it's Ooh. Liliana Death's Majesty, a beautiful lady after my own heart. She starts with five loyalty, and I can plus her to make a zomboy. I can minus her to reanimate from <gasps> my graveyard. Mm. Nice. And I can minus seven her to destroy all non-zombie creatures. That sounds like a plan. So I'm going to tick her up to six, and I'm going to mill to an island and army of the damned <laughs> pardon <laughs> oh you know army of the damned it creates 13 tapped 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens it it's also has flash don't worry about it yeah it, it mm. costs 10 so you know <laughs> who even cares certainly um, not me nobody cares at all and i get a 2-2 two, two zombie out of that uh the zombie's name is going to be um nugget <laughs> Nugget the That's a Nugget. good zombie name. That's a good zombie Nugget. name. Nugget. Nugget's a very good zombie. And I really cannot break through anything here, which is incredibly frustrating. So, um, Olivia, I am going to attack you with my currently a 4-5 zombie named Spark Reap. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's a, you're attacking me with said zombo. Yeah. It's just a little guy. It's just a little guy. What do you need from this little guy? Uh, To deal some damage. Or (laughs) kill a bee. Why do you want to kill a a bee? (laughs) 
Um, so it will die, so I can do zombie stuff. <laughs> well, okay, I guess. I'll this is in the way. Oh. All right, the Spark Reaper dies. <laughs> I lose a life, and I draw a card, and I get a two-two with decay. Zoop. What I drew is not something that affects the sport state, so we go to end step. I'm going to choose to sacrifice one of the decayed zombies to draw another card, and I pass the turn. Okay. <laughs> there's there's a lot of things going on. I'm going to untap this man. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Come on. So no pressure. Bad. Oh, wait. No, I'm leaving these in exile, so I remember what the hell they're... All wait, right. do you still get those exile cards, or...? Yeah, because you... uh, Escape the Wilds is until you, the, end, your, the end of your next turn. So oh. I get these, and then at the end of this turn, whatever's left here. Okay. Out of here. Oh, all right. And that card should be, like, banned in standard or something. Right? <laughs> um, okay, so exile top four cards in my library. Lelia, oh, no. Blade Reforged, Xenagos, the Reveler, Bone Crusher Giant, and a Highland Forest. What a homie. Come on, Olivia. Bloody. Oh! oh! No way! <laughs> no way! <laughs> oh, we're in danger. So, uh, there's a couple spells in exile right now. And <laughs> I don't even know what they are. But I have a feeling <gasps> between the background and the spells... We're kind of. Yeah. Oh dear. There's like a there's a, a, a cradle hoof light in there too. Yeah, there's right? big pig. Pain bacon's in Everest there. Forerunners. Yeah, there is. Let's go. So you get okay. every Hold single on. permanent, right? I'm documenting right? this for Twitter. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. You have to tell them how many cards are in there too. Holy crap! I like that you held it sideways. Is it bigger than your library right now? No. Oh my god. It is like 15 cards though. <laughs> oh. Yes, power. Okay. Oh I can my put goodness. all of these pop every permanent card. Now it's put, so I don't get the cast triggers on them. Okay. It is put permanent cards exiled with journey of the lost city onto the battlefield, then sacrifice it. So I will receive so a Highland wolves. Highland Forest. Yes, someone keep please keep a wolf count for me. Okay. Wait, no, these are put. These aren't cast. Yeah, but the exile. land still counts, doesn't it? Yeah, the lands count for wolves, but not the spells, so Touche. Wolf count. Okay. So bone right. crusher giant. I'm so, oh no. Uh, Xenagos is a permanent. <laughs> Layla, the Blade Reforged, is a permanent. Mana Gorger Hydra. <laughs> Big Pig is a permanent. <laughs> Big 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 Big. Big. Uh, wolf count is two. Wolf count is three. Here, let's just wolf count. Wolf counts four. Wolf counts five. Wolf count is five. Okay. So, um, Sweet Gum Recluse. <laughs> Grungully the generous. Excuse me, wait, does that have a cascade? Oh, that does have cascade. Oh, okay. I just broke put. something. It's I just put. broke something. What have I done? You cost a fairy's protection. Too much power. <gasps> oh my god, and if you order them, they all get counters from your dear friend Grungully. Is he a cost or a enter? It, no, he's just he's entered into the battlefield. The battlefield oh, non humans. Yeah, so, so every non human is getting a counter on it, too. These friends remain exiled. The natural reclamation and delayed blast fireball. But I will also get Wild Magic Sorcerer, Greater Gargadon, Warstorm Surge. <laughs> that'll get you. The Warstorm Surge will get you. Chaos Swarp and Dream <laughs> Pillager. I'm so glad you don't have a haste giver right now. This deck is too smart for me, even though it's just Gruel Smash. This is a lot. Okay. And then so everything I'm... you control gets plus two, plus two, and has Vigilance and has Trample. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to sacrifice Journey to the Lost City. I think the journey <laughs> was successful. I'd mm -hmm. say so. I'd say that was okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. All right, so it's not really, or these all happen at the same time, yeah? Yeah, they all enter at once, so all the triggered abilities see each other, and you put them on the stack in the way you want them to. It's been fun, friends. So we'll start with the Warstorm Surge, and then Grum Gully. Wait, so whenever got... a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it deals damage equal <gasps> to its power to target creature or player. Oh, oh we're dead. Yeah. We're just dead. Yeah. Because yeah. all of the wolves kill us. Because all the wolves. Oh my God. We're just dead. And it's like, oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> GG? <laughs> like, GG. Oh, wait. Like, how we much can, power is that? But... How much power is okay. that? Quick math. Three, four is seven, nine is 16, is 20. But then if the end the raiser goes in a different order, they all have plus two. Plus two. No, but that comes in after. That won't affect That'll their power and toughness. So it's their base power and toughness plus the one Grum Gully counter on everything. 
do what I want to do. End rays, then Grumgully. Does I, I mean they all enter the same no, no, no. Yeah. End rays oh. must be after everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, word. Because end rays doesn't affect their power and toughness as they enter the battlefield. Yeah, understood. It's after. Okay, so it is. Uh, where were we? Thirteen is sixteen. That's an artifact. Yeah, right. Twenty. So twenty here. Uh, twenty-one. Twenty-three. When it ETBs, so 27, 34, just from this. And then the Plus wolves. The wolves. Then the Arus, which is another five, two, yeah. two, so that's another 10. So you. And did you add the plus one, plus oh, one? Oh, wait, no. All and then Bone Crusher gi Giant is oh, what, 48? Stenagos is a planeswalker. I think if you uh, do it so that Surge dies, my Acroma mm. goes away, your mm -hmm. attack kills me and pretty much. And Almost me. murders Amy. Yeah. <laughs> Amy well, might be alive, yes. but I don't think that it can come back from holy crap. Like I can do a quick <laughs> check of how much toughness I have, but I can I also still, still draw my card for a turn. Yeah. <laughs> she hasn't cast any spells yet. And well, no, no, no. But see, then I have so all that happens. I still have passionate archaeologist out. I still have uh, seven yeah. damage in exile that I can cast, and I can <laughs> cast. I can do more with her. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> We all die horrible, horrible deaths. Cool. Oh my god. What a beautiful card. One of these decks is not like the others, friends. <laughs> Three cards. <laughs> wow. I wow. Think, I think you lived up to Gruel Smash there, because holy crap. But oh. you didn't just smash. You smashed and burned. Yeah. You you did it all in the most we, cruel of fashions. We very much did a raise and pillage. Jeez, like... <laughs> document the board state. <laughs> I'm going to call this a W. Yeah. I would call Fair. it an emphatic W. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Bravo. GG's Bravo. friends. That was nice, cool. Nice, nice. Gruel smash. Gruel smash. Gruel smash. <laughs> Has it converted you yet? Are you seeing the ways no. of the green and red? <laughs> it was pretty fun. I'm actually like when I when I got it, the deck in my hands and I was looking at this, I was like, I'm usually not smart enough on the whole exile thing to uh, keep track of it. And keeping track was a was a task. However, yes. uh, nat 20s, yo. I want you in my uh, D and D party. Just saying, like you do the LARP things. So now let's just transform That's that to true. tabletop. Yeah, yeah, just transfer it over. Yeah, exactly. It'll work every time. <laughs> That's because we all know my luck's incredible, and I always roll twenties. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's awesome to play these precons. Uh, didn't really get to see Captain Gatherod do his uh, piratey <laughs> things, but I, I, I get I get the gist of it. But man, that yeah. rule one just seems to pop off out of nowhere. Uh, that those first few plays were a bit much, honestly. The okay, ramp yes. was the ramp was real. The ramp was very, <laughs> very real. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you ever duplicate that or replicate that, I'll call you a liar because that was insane. So much ramp. I genuinely think I should never play this deck again and just let that be the one yeah. time I did it, did it right, and never let it disappoint me again. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> That's how we should play commander decks. We'll be broke all the time because we need to buy new ones, but eh, it's fine. Yeah. If you're going to do that, you should totally go and use uh, Cool Stuff Inc. and face-to-face -face games, depending if you're the US or Canada. Go buy your singles, go buy your sealed product, use the code alias V, get 5% off. You know you want to. And you also want to be our patron if you aren't already. You can sign up on patreon.com. We are, of course, so grateful for everyone that's supporting us and helping us make this cool content that you can enjoy free of charge on the YouTube. So thank you, everybody that has subscribed as a patron and everyone that's going to in the future. That's all for this week. Don't forget to do the following before you run away, friends. As always, click the things that make the dings. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week.